Oh, okay. Right, uh, I hope you guys are still with me and thank you for joining me again. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to say a lot of thank you in this video simply because uh, uh, I feel so much better in this video. All oh, thanks to you guys, all the lovely messages that I, I read on my, you know, from my last videos. And uh, yeah, just uh, really, really happy. Uh, it really shows you, uh, how much care you guys have given us. And uh, me personally, you know, like I just really, uh, I don't know what to say, you know, I, it, it brought some tears to my eyes actually when I was reading it because I, I was feeling a little bit, I don't know, down in a way. And, and uh, yeah, you can probably kind of feel the, the energy that I, well, or lack of energy from my last video and uh, yeah so I'm a lot better you can see you know I'm kind of dancing jumping a little bit huffing puffing at the same time as well just because I'm walking around um, trying to scout some location for this evening shoot uh, uh, yeah I'm gonna have an evening shoot tonight and I'm gonna have three early morning shoots tomorrow uh, busy as hell <laughs> I'm not complaining like I said this is my money season so I'm gonna you know better make sure I do make the most of it but I'm vlogging a little bit because I want to show you guys something today. Um, yeah, something I've been working on is a little videos, uh, a little documentary that I made uh, at the beginning of the month. Uh, I've been wanting to show you guys, but uh, I, I'm just waiting for, you know, some uh, approval from my clients first. And then uh, hopefully, uh, you know, he said yes, uh, just because I love this video so much. And uh, it's kind of more the style that I'm chasing for, for my filmmaking, you know, it's more like the very cinematic, very lovely thing you know this particular uh, clip or video is quite short no talking involved it's only music and some movement there but uh i think i've done a great job let me know what you guys think <laughs> uh, but yes also done some portraits as well which i'm going to show you guys about the portrait in the next video and uh, so that will be all done you know for this particular thing that i'm doing at the moment but i'm trying to expand the series trying to do some more uh in the near future and uh yeah so stay tuned for all these documentary stuff that i'm making and i'm, I'm loving it i'm loving it. it's really really cool and uh what else though uh i'm actually haven't been back in this area for a while simply because uh yeah i'm walking towards carnaby street and uh, carnaby street is actually one of my favorite places in london just because it's so vibrant so much stuff going on and uh and uh, but ever since my beloved Lomography had you know has moved away and uh, I, I haven't been back and uh, yeah they they moved to uh, Hackney somewhere so <laughs> I actually haven't paid them a visit just yet because now changed from a retail store to an office now so it's not something that you, you just pop by really uh, but you know I'm still amigo so I want to go and say hi to them from time to time but in the meantime where am I yes Carnaby Street you may wonder why I, why I'm wearing a headphone simply because uh, I don't know if you can hear, but it's really loud in London as usual, and uh, so I just want to hear what I'm talking uh, or while I'm talking. So it's a little bit difficult when there's so much noise around. There are people dancing, singing, talking, uh, screaming as usual. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, I'm gonna be in Carnaby Street in a minute. Uh, so it's just a. Uh, a big thank you to you guys uh, this video I really just want to make to say thank you for you guys and also answering some of the Q&A that I have received from the community page so uh, I'm gonna dig into my phone and, and see what I need to answer first okay first of all uh, how to maximize shooting with smallest form micro four third gear with no IBIS OIS such as Panasonic GF9 and 20 from Andrew right um, well, to be honest, uh, when you're shooting wide angle like that, 40 mil uh, equivalent, and uh, G9 is actually pretty good, and uh, it's got got some stabilization, I think, G9. So uh, you don't really need a stabilized lens, to be quite honest, and uh, it's, it's more than sufficient. And actually, if you look back in all the old days, uh, all you need to do is hold your camera properly. Uh, it's actually a bit difficult one vlogging, so I can't really show you guys how to um, hold the camera properly, uh, but there are techniques to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to jot it down, I'm going to make it as a video, how to hold your prop, uh, camera properly. Uh, that will enhance your photography skills, stabilization, things like that, without a stabilizer in body or the lens. So uh, hopefully that will help you guys out. So what's the next? Next one is... Um, right, actually quite a few asking a similar question. Um, one of is... Well, most of them actually ask the game about how do I edit my photos and what sort of setting I use. Okay, there are two things there. First of all, setting. Um, setting of the photos, um, okay. 
first of all, I don't like to discuss about my setting. Um, not, not that I don't want to share. Uh, I mean, I, if you guys really want to know, I can really show you guys. Um, simply because if I share the settings, even if I tell you exactly what the setting is on the cameras and what the lenses, whatever, the focal length, and you will not be able to replicate that photograph unless that was a studio photo. Um, God, it's really, really noisy here. But uh, I'm just telling you guys uh, uh, simply because you'll be shooting outside, outdoor, um, lighting changes, you know, and so your setting just would not be the same. And um, also, uh, like I mentioned in my pri uh, previous video, and uh, the dynamic, the energy from the person that you're photographing would be different as well. Um, however, color grading, yes, the editing side of it, I can share. That's not a problem. And then, uh, so, I'm going to jot it down again to, to show you guys about the uh, the editing process that I go through and what sort of thing that I do. And if you guys are interested in my color gradings and things like that or the uh, presets, I can maybe try to sort something out and uh, see if you guys are interested in it and I'll let you guys know in due course. But anyway, I'll jot it down. That's another episode about editing. Um, that might have to wait until my stu uh, studio is finished, which uh, I'm still refurbishing. Yeah, it's been taking out quite a while just because I haven't got time at the moment, so uh, it's doing a mess. Um, so hopefully that will be sorted soon, then I'll be able to uh, shooting in the studios. I'll show you guys my editing techniques and also workflow. Okay, last um, last question, not a question actually, it's more like a comment. Uh, he's, it's from Don, and he's basically asking about the Oli 25mm okay. lens. Um, you know, what is the point of you know having the pro heavy lens uh, while you know there are many other options out there like the uh, very fabulous uh, Panasonic 1.4 25 and or even the premium lenses the 1.7 the 1.8 lenses and so why would you want to pay so much for the 1.2 pro lens um, well I did a video of the 17 versus 17 versus 17 I kind of touched base on that point but just to cut everything in short uh, simply that the 1.2 lenses are better for the pro users. Uh, the 1.2 aperture does help in ultra low light situations, especially when you pair with the uh, E1X, for instance, or even the newly firmware updated E1 Mark II. Now you can focus this uh, down to minus six EV, which is actually quite insane, to be honest, if you have the pro lenses lying around. Um, that really helps with the accuracy and the speed in low light situations. And also, you know, you can use low ISO at the same time. That means you can get, you can get slightly cleaner images that's always good anyway and uh, what else though and uh, also ruggedness weather seal just better in general and uh, yeah it's, 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 it's what a pro needs really and uh, don't get me wrong the premium lens is all great image quality good prices are cheap and lightweight as well so which is perfect for travel and vlogging things like that you know I use premium lenses and pro lenses at the same time like now I'm vlogging on a premium lens um, but Tonight, when I get to shoot, I'm going to use my pro lenses because, because lower light is always better with the pro. Uh, optical quality, debatable. You know, you can say that the simpler design of the premium lenses can output better images, and I can totally agree with that. But the pro lenses are not shy either. You know, they are really good. Um, the design for low light and shoot wide open, that's that's what it is. So uh, premium lenses are great. So depending on what you use, and uh, there's no debate about which one is better depending on what your situation, what sort of condition you're using for. And uh, yeah, so basically it. Right, so here's the video. So hope you guys will enjoy it and uh, I'm gonna speak to you guys soon and hopefully you guys enjoy. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already and uh, yeah, click on the bell button notification so you stay notified when a new video is coming out. So enjoy the video. See you later, bye.